So while Tone pretends to be able to predict price and pretends to be good at things so that he charges you for them, I charge you for nothing. I offer better price calls than he does and I offer better performance than he does. And I don't delete my calls, he may not either. So just go and look them up historically. I called the 20K Christmas when the price was 4K. I called short at 19K. You can go verify this. He was wrecked the entire way, okay? Now, about giving people money. You can give him money on your credit card, on your, on your PayPal, on your Bitcoin, anyway, because he's broke and he needs your money. I don't need your money, I retired in 2003. I give you free price calls, free chat, now free tokens, free self-help books. You can't pay me money, you don't know my Bitcoin address. You can't pay me credit card, I don't have any shopping cart where you could possibly pay me. So to be called a scammer by this guy that will do anything he can to make money, when I do everything for free as a retired serial entrepreneur, is absurd to me. Now, why he talks about crypto and pretends he knows what it's about, I'm actually building it. I'm actually designing it. When I first got into Bitcoin, it was free and I mined it for free. And that's why I went all in on it after I got it for free. Now, the only people that are getting freemium onboarding is Ravencoin and Ethereum and Monero because you can mine it for free. And Hex. Don, any replies? Um, if he had any money left, he wouldn't be printing money, right? So my guess is uh, he went broke a little while ago, probably due to terrible trading. And now he has resorted uh, to printing his own money and uh, promoting it so he can get rich on the money that he's printing. Uh, uh, what I do is I travel the world and I teach people how to trade. If you don't want to pay to learn how to trade, you can learn it for free. That's all it is. Can you imagine the tragedy? of paying him to learn how to lose all your money. When you could lose all your money on your own, naturally. I give better price calls than him for free, period. Furthermore, Bitcoin cannot do time-locked interest. You can lock your coins in Bitcoin, you receive no rewards. If you wanna replace the CD, which has $7.2 trillion in the United States and China, someone has to build it. I built it, it's open source, I give it for free to Bitcoin holders. We have two security audits from two different companies and one economics audit. And one of the auditors is tied for top best auditor in the world for solidity contracts. This guy cosplays and talks about crypto, but when someone actually tries to make the world a better place and tries to give you something for free and try and let you buy a new thing that could go very high when Bitcoin's already 10,000, you're buying my bags I bought for 30. The people who get rich in Bitcoin are three people shills who make money selling you stuff with no risk people that enable the shills margin trading places of which i told you my link earlier right and token founders don't really don't think that uh, this new cryptocurrency can help bitcoin so apparently our uh, richard's solution to the financial problems isn't bitcoin it's more free perpetual interest at what seven percent a year ten percent a year are you at are you at bitconnect's rates of one percent a day yet when are you getting the, when are you gonna do that when are you going to offer people 1% uh, interest a day? Bitcoin miners get paid to push the price down because that's the security model. Every single Bitcoin that exists, the 18 million coins that exist now, nobody that did anything honorable or ethical was given those coins. The developers were not given those coins. The people that marketed were not given those coins. The only people that received those coins were people that sold them on market to pollute the environment by buying electricity. Now that's necessary because that's a security model. But I can get the same security for pennies on Ethereum without paying a million dollars an hour to miners that then use that money to attack that network with a fake Bitcoin and try and convince people to buy a fake Bitcoin, which is what Bitmain did, okay? having a free currency that doesn't overpay miners and is based on staking. So we're a proof of work hybrid. Our inflation rewards are based on proof of stake. You locked up your coins, but our transactions are proof of work because that's the only thing that's safe. So you really think that proof of work is uh, fail failable? No, it's, it, is, it is an extremely expensive and reliable and trustful thing. It's the best thing that we have, but it is terrible. And it, it's terrible for the environment. I hope we find something better. We don't have anything better yet. So we do use proof of work for our transactions. Here, here's the important point. If you want the world to be a better place, you have to remove, you have to replace all of traditional finance with open source, peer-to-peer, -peer, trusted systems. I built such a system. He did not build such a system and Bitcoin didn't build such a system or would have more than the 2.8 million users total that have $1,000 in a wallet. That is absolutely pitiful adoption.